Hey, fuck nuts. It's probing time. Black Anime Guy, and it is Spring Break 2011, and man, was today a great day. And I saw Paul. It was an okay movie. I mean, it wasn't what I w expected, but it was an okay movie. The basic premise is best friends Grame and Clive, played by Simon Pegg and Neil Frost, go on a road trip after Comic Con to visit these a famous alien sites. While traveling to visit these sites, they witness a car crash, and meet an alien by the name of Paul. The two end up helping Paul escape the clutches of the government and find a way to get back home. I enjoy British comedy, and I really enjoy Simon Pegg and Neil Frost. I mean, I love Shaun of the Dead. I thought Hot Fuzz was funny as hell. I mean, I saw this movie, and I'm like, okay, these guys are going to be pretty, pretty funny. And this movie is pretty funny. Don't get me wrong. Here's some of the pros. First off, like I said, movie is pretty funny. What really knocked it out of the park for me was the references to pop, many pop culture references in this movie. They make references to Star Wars. They make references to Indiana Jones, Steven Spielberg, all these alien movies, E.T., uh, Escape from Witch Mountain, you name it. Any alien movie that you've seen has been referenced in this movie. It's, it's funny. The actors were pretty good in this movie, and they made for very likable characters. You know, I rooted for them. I wanted Paul to get back home. I wanted him to go back to his galaxy. I mean, he's been waiting all these years, and then all of a sudden they're going to do this to him. So he wants to go back home. He's ready to leave. In the beginning of the film, they had like a lot of scenery shots. Those were pretty sweet. I like, I love scenery, so... I was paying close attention to that, and I love those scenes. There were so many cameos in this movie. I won't give them away. You might not say they are cameos, but I say they are. Not to mention that there's like maybe three or, yes, three people from Arrested Development in this movie. Speaking of Arrested Development, Jason Bateman in this movie was freaking awesome. His character was the coolest, most awesomest badass in this whole movie. He's so calm, he's so firm, he, likes, he looks like he's under control, and he was bad ass in this movie. And now for the con. And there are only three that I had in mind, but they were enough to kind of ruin the movie for me. Biggest con in this movie was the religious undertone. It was like they shoved this down our throat, like they're saying, oh, Catholicism is wrong, Christianity is wrong. Okay, you don't put a message in a comedy, okay, guys? Make it funny. I don't need religious shit in my movies. Not in my comedies, okay? If you're making a drama movie, then you could throw some religious undertone in there. But not in a comedy, especially from Simon Pegg and Neil Frost? No! Don't mix comedy with your beliefs. No, I came to see a joke. I didn't get that. Speaking of jokes, some of the jokes in this movie got really, really, really repetitive. They made a lot of dick jokes. They made a lot of uh, probing jokes. They made a lot of gay jokes the same recycled joke over and over and over and over and over again it got boring also speaking of characters bill Hader's character really underused in this movie he had some decent parts and he had some funny parts but it wasn't what i wanted from bill Hader. like in the in the trailers it made it seem like bill Hader was jason bateman's partner but in all honesty he was like this side cop that just came in because he was ordered to go in he was underused in this movie. But overall, this movie was not an awesome, great, spectacular movie. But I found it very enjoyable. So I will give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's not great, but rather an enjoyable movie. What did you think of the movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment below. Tell me what you thought. Anyway, this is the Black Anime Guy. And I will see you all later in this week. So keep an eye out. Peace.